all right hey everyone so this uh, video is a response to uh, Matthew Spurgeon's uh, cloud Z post uh, this is the dark Z 5.9 just want to talk about a few of the things that I've found since uh, I've installed the lift um, one of the biggest problems I had is the sway bar the sway bar link the stock one was straight up it didn't have a bolt that could wear into the frame I'm not exactly happy with that and I guess uh, during the Tierra del Sol the sway bar went so high because I, I don't disconnect a lot of the uh, King of the Hammers uh, contestants they don't they don't disconnect they don't air down well neither do I anyway so this interfered up here and of course if you talk to any off-road company they're gonna tell you disconnect well I don't so but anyway that's that's one of the things you can expect something like that uh, let's go over here you can see the same thing same thing over here all right of course you got a little upper damage there it's not that big a deal so uh, it was just funny on the first night I'm like what I found myself in a gulch trying to chase uh, bigger better vehicles than mine and it'll buff out that's what everybody says but that's my little damage <laughs> I'm pretty conservative when it comes to off-roading I let everybody else do the crazy stuff I go to see the show not to be the show <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> it's all fun. Uh, let's see. So I'm changing the oil. It's got 100,000 miles. This thing's yapping at me, telling me service soon. Beep, 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 all that noise. Oh, yeah. Um, so this uh, right front upper control arm, as you can see here, there. That right there, these are Borla headers, and it interfered. Well, another thing I noticed, it comes time to change the oil filter. Oh, that's going to be fun. Yeah, it used to not be that way. Of course, uh, this would, the whole, uh, you know, control arm, the upper control arm, they would sit higher. So you'd have better access. I mean, it, Jeep made these things, the access for oil filters were bad and now they're worse <laughs> what are you gonna do right it's all part of it anyway you missed the uh, part where the engine compartment was flooded with sand uh, you can kind of see back there all the sand got that sheen all right, there we go That's my Adam's drive shaft. Jeez. The zoom on this camera is the, the little switch for it is sticking. So it's, it zooms too much. I uh, figured that out at the uh, at the notches. That was crazy. <laughs> I just drove there. I didn't didn't go there to do anything other than watch. But I can see how it's easy to get carried away and be part of the show. <laughs> anyway, um, as you can see, four the headers, both sides, and it comes down, connects, and then I got the uh, catalytic converter, as you can see, and then uh, got a Borla muffler, and then kicks out in front of the uh, right rear tire so I've been make, having a noise coming from the right rear bearing in it when it's in a curb to the left you can hear it howling so I'm gonna get that change I'm not gonna do that myself I've seen the videos on how to do it and not interested I'll, I'll pay the money and get someone else to do it that's all it's all good anyway so just a little update for the Adams drive shaft how it's doing. 
There it is. See the logo on the side there. And the other one. And right now, I got it up on these, uh, these ramps. Oh, come on. Nope, 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 nope. Got it up on the ramp so I can change the oil. Right now I got the uh, oil draining. So I figured now's a good time to make a little video about it. While I'm waiting for the oil to come out. Let's see. What else can I think of that I've had problems with? Not too many problems down in here, not that I can think of. I thought this would be a lot worse, the filter after Tierra del Sol. But it ain't, ain't too bad. The whole engine compartment looked like the bottom end. It was all covered with sand. Yesterday I hit it with water and air at the same time. And let's see, anything else? That's about it. Got my little warning to driver from Rough Country. So when you first come in, you you better look at it. That sucker's not gonna sit there on the gauges. You, that's that's your final warning. And let's see. It's the rear seat. I changed the. Uh, this is the old oh, steering wheel. So I changed the uh, right rear ABS sensor. And here's where the hookup is for that. It'll be this red one. The right rear, the red. Left rear is the black. That's where it hooks up. Let's see. So that's where it hooks up, and then you go down here. That's where the wires come out. The one on the right is for the right rear, the one on the left is for the left rear. As you can see, and you follow it along, it goes up on top of the differential, and then. Uh, hooks up over there so I, I replaced that it, it lasted for about three four hundred miles and it came back so but now we figured out that the right rear bearing is going out and so all the metal shavings are collecting on the sensor and that's what's causing all the problems I need to replace the right rear bearing replace the bearing That'll fix your ABS light coming on. Crazy, huh? But that's the way it is. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Adam's drive shaft hanging in there. This is the first time I looked at it since I went off-roading. Let's see. That's the uh, slip yoke eliminator. You guys remember that? <laughs> when I got that bolt broken in there, that was funny. And of course, over here we have the other, the front uh, drive shaft from Adams. Let's see, anything else? I guess that's about it. Oh, oh, shoot. Don't let me forget. Another problem that I've had. <coughs> See that right there? There's uh, the, the right upper control arm is interfering with the, 
with the rear track bar and that's why they tell you to flip it with this bolt I don't know that that thing's got to be like 1200 foot pounds or something but it does not want to come out so anyway eventually I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna flip it around just like the uh, instructions from rough country says so and just a little follow-up here's where the uh, ABS wire goes up on top of the diff and then to the back of the diff back there and then uh, hooks up so that's where the ABS wire goes I know a lot of you are like oh get rid of the ABS well I've actually crashed in a ZJ in my life back in what year was that 2002 yeah about 2002 I crashed, uh, I had a 96 ZJ and I crashed it and uh, there was uh, four boys in a Ford Explorer, it had to be like a 1995 Ford Explorer or something like that and if it wasn't for the ABS I would have killed them. I managed to uh, steer it properly, you know, by the last second braking and rather than hitting the door I ended up hitting it right at the tire with my front end and destroyed both vehicles but the ABS I, I, I truly believe it was the ABS that saved those boys lives so that's why I'm not getting rid of my ABS I have history so you guys can get rid of your ABS I'm gonna I'm gonna advise you not to it, it could be a life that you save so anyway that's all for now just giving you a little update on how my uh, dark Z is coming along. Having fun. All right. Y'all be safe out there. Take it easy.